Well, December means the countdown to Christmas is on. A Macon private school started a new holiday tradition this year with an event that's open to the public. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker joins us live from their campus to tell us more as she reveals our school of the week. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Caitlin, and happy Friday. Our School of the Week goes to First Presbyterian Day School. They're kicking off their first ever Christmas tree lighting to spread some holiday cheer after a tough year. Now, this idea started from a former student and now has become their first annual tradition. First Presbyterian Day School staff are putting the finishing touches on their first campus Christmas tree before they light it on Sunday. Head of school John Patterson made sure students from different grade levels were involved. He's asked the junior class to help um, help serve and we're setting up little booths of games for the um, kids of the FPD's families to come and play. At Christmas time we love getting presents and we know some people who don't get presents we feel really bad for them. And so we decided that we want to do a donation. Some of the elementary students are going to be performing in the band and in the chorus. And then we've also had a family who came forward and helped us organize a toy drive with the Macon Rescue Mission. So it's been really exciting to see how many people have come together. School spokeswoman Beth Burns had said a couple businesses donated and planted a 20 foot Christmas tree they'll use year after year. See, we know this year has been full of changes and, and different ways of gathering together. But we are so excited to be able to have this event. It's going to be outside. It's going to be open so people can spread out and socially distance. The idea came from former student Katherine Smith, who graduated in the class of 2018 and interns with the school's marketing department. It's crazy that this has come to life because last year it started off as just a little idea that got passed along. So it's been really cool to see everything come together. I'm very excited to see it continue to go on in the future and just kind of grow and bring everyone together. Now the tree is right outside the kindergarten building. It's a pretty big one and I know you can't see the star at the top, but it sits on a pretty on a on a like a 20 to 30 foot pole. Now the light the lighting event starts at 5 p.m. and the actual lighting will be at 6. If you'd like to bring some new or gently used toys, the Cauley family will have a truck out here for you to drop those off. Those donations will go to the Macon Rescue Mission. Reporting live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Pepper. What a great idea. I love that. And now if you have an idea for a school of the week, you can send an email to news at 13WMAZ.com, message us on Facebook, or reach out, us, reach out to us through our 13WMAZ app.